Japanese tech tree ships, the Hosho, the Ryuzho, the Shikaku, and the Hikuryu all follow a similar format as they have HE rockets, very effective torpedoes, and armor-piercing bombs. For each of these, the build is going to be fairly similar, eventually working up to what the Hikuryu has. And that build is going to be a base 9-point build of more, faster, healthier. This is going to be a baseline build for almost every single CV in the game and can definitely be where you put your points first. After this, you can begin to accessorize. Because the Japanese line is so extremely focused on torpedoes, Proximity Fuse makes for basically a mandatory skill, as it helps more damage breach through the torpedo protection of battleships, which is definitely going to be a target for a Japanese CV. After, I can highly recommend Site Stabilization. It's not needed, but it does firm the reticle a little faster when going for an AP bomb drop, allowing you to get a slightly better angle and drop from a higher height. Uh, also, it can assist mostly with the Shikaku and the Hikuryu in the Torp drops. The Hosho and the Ryuzho do not need this skill as they firm up quickly enough, but if you're looking to train a captain as you move along the line, Sight Stab is not going to be a bad place to put some points if you've already amassed the points by that uh, part in the game. As far as additional options, torps, uh, additional bomber speed is not needed, secondaries not needed, flak is not something I can recommend unless you find that you experience a lot of flak in your travels. Hidden Menace unfortunately is bugged at the moment so I cannot recommend taking it. Uh, the fighter tree is something we can address in just a moment. Additional AP bomb damage? This is a joke. Please do not take this talent, it is extremely underpowered. The Japanese line does not light fires, this is not an option, and this is going to start leading you down to the one and the two point talents where you're really just sort of filling out the remainder of your points. I can't recommend the additional healing, it's just not going to be strong enough and you already start with four heals on the Shikaku and the Hikuryu, so this is not going to be a place to put points. Again, secondaries are not a place to uh, look at in the Japanese ships. As far as torpedoes, you could double down on reduced arming distance as well as additional torpedo speed. These are options which could carry you, but I can tell you from experience these are not required for capable play. If you choose to put points there, remember that you will learn how to use this or use the CVs with this, and if you choose to move the points elsewhere later, this can mess up your aim. Lastly, we have some boost skills. Last Gas refills your, en your engine boost completely when you get down to the last group of attack. It's not particularly useful in the Japanese line as they're not often set up for multiple as strikes, but the Shikaku can take advantage of it. So if there's one CV that has a standout, it's going to be that, potentially the Kaga, but we'll get to that in a moment. As far as this talent, Engine Techie with the faster reload for the consumable, I. This is more of a novelty talent and really has no applicable use. As far as the fighter trees, trying to go into a defensive posture, this is made as a form of anti-CV capability, but I would really restrict this to ranked, some kind of clan battle season or competitive arena, or potentially the Hikuryu, maybe with the additional speed of the slot six unique module. You have to have some advanced placement as well as some very fast planes to outrun the enemy CV if they're looking to make an attack. And without the ability to make that extreme movement, I can't recommend these for basic play. As for the Kaga, there's very little deviation between what the Kaga can do and the tech tree lines can do. But the Kaga is simply going to double down even harder on torpedoes. Though, Demolition Expert does give additional fire chance on bombs, and the Kaga does have high explosive bombs. So if you choose to work the Demolition Expert into your build, that's definitely something that you can look into.